Now, protests over the killing of George Floyd have continued in America for the 10th day today. Protests and riots. And across the world, these protests are taking different forms. In some parts, the anger is being directed at governments. In some others, vandalism is denting the credibility of the cause. This report explores. We the people can take the people that we put in power out of power. We just have to stand up. From Barcelona to Canberra. Seoul to Mexico City. They are marching in solidarity. They are armed with slogans. Some are bending the knee and some are hurling firebombs. The protests over George Floyd's death have taken many forms. In Seattle, as demonstrators lay on the ground with their hands behind their backs, not far away, some were breaking restrictions and clashing with cops. In New York, the police is not taking any chances. It is responding with force. A 75-year-old man who tried breaking the curfew was shoved by policemen. He lost balance, fell to the pavement, and within seconds, there was blood. Sixteen thousand kilometers away in Canberra, people are marching against such heavy-handed police tactics. They are drawing parallels between the treatment of blacks in America and the discrimination against the indigenous people of Australia. Tease they come at last. No CPR, they said. To Garner stopped resisting. Well, the cops just stood there watching. 8,500 kilometers away in Seoul, the anger is shifting towards the South Korean government. Human rights activists want the Moon Jae in government to take a stand against America. They want their leaders to call out what they consider state violence by an ally. We are here today to demand the US government to punish those who abuse their power. We also want the South Korean government as a friend of the US to speak out against the discrimination in the US. Half a world away in Mexico City, the demonstrations have transformed into protests against sexism, xenophobia and all societal prejudices. We have to let people know that black lives do matter and that's the, uh, the, that's the root of every issue that we have, whether it's sexism or xenophobia, it, it is all rooted from our disrespect to black lives. In Guadalajara, the second largest city in Mexico, tear gas and fumes choke the streets. There are violent protests over the death of a local man in police custody. The movement is getting bigger, but the wheels of justice are turning slowly. Back in Minneapolis, the trial against fired police officer Derek Chauvin is yet to begin. Meanwhile, a judge has set a bail of 750,000 US dollars for the three other accused. Protests are not winding down anytime soon. Bureau Report, we on World is One.